How's it going guys, Zerai here. So, I wanted to make a review for Destiny 2 The Final Shape expansion. Now, I've decided to get back into Destiny 2 specifically for this expansion, because if you guys know my story, I've been a very, very big fan of Destiny. Now, I've played Destiny 1 from pretty much the beginning till the end, well, technically from Dark Below DLC in Destiny 1, all the way till the, well, the lifespan of it. And then Destiny 2 releases, I've had a chance of starting that time as well, and I played through the raid, the Leviathan raid specifically, in hard mode, as well and basically I just kind of fell off from Destiny 2 and I never really got back to it. Few years later I constantly been watching plenty of YouTubers such as Destiny Orientated like Dato Des Destiny, Aristocross as an example and so many others and I always kept up to the news with Destiny but I never went back to it and played it for myself ever again until now the final shapes release. I decided to come back because of how I began playing Destiny. It's the name of Light and Dark Saga and basically seeing how it all began and how it all ended. It's been a decade worth story. And it's kind of like for Destiny people, actually they would feel that this game to them is an Avengers story. So how Avengers, Marvel's Avengers started and how it ended with the end game. It really is the similarities within that. Now I'm sure, sure, I know a lot of people might argue and say, wow, really, did you just compare to a masterpiece to this garbage game? Because like Destiny, I'm not too sure why, and maybe you kind of understand as well, is getting a lot of flack. And for good reasons, and of course for very bad reasons as well. Now, personally for me, I always appreciated Destiny for it was. But, uh, like I mentioned, I grew it, right? And when I started playing Destiny 2 The Final Shape once again, I had that notice as well. I was interested in checking it out and finally you know, seeing it for myself, what do I think about this game? And I actually had a good time with it, especially its story. It very much motivated me continuing pl playing through this game for its story. Now, I still continue on playing it through, and I'm still noticing that the best parts about it is the best-in-class first-person shooting. This game does it super, super well, and I really appreciate that. Also, a new subclass is a hell of a lot of fun, and I love the way you can actually mesh and mash, and have different varieties and combinations with your kind of power fantasy that you can have within Destiny. It really works, it's fantastic, and I really love that. And then when you're seeing the epic and emotional conclusion of 10 year saga of Destiny 2 and just Destiny overall, uh, you can feel that this is the conclusion. Now we do know that Destiny 2 is continuing, right? It'll have an expansion of Frontiers, it's gonna have its own episodes, but I'm, never, I'm not gonna be sticking around for those because Destiny 2, in my mind, has finally ended. Bungie, it's time to move on. Bungie, make Destiny 3, move on to Marathon, or make a completely brand new and different IP. Because Destiny is seriously, and I mean very much, is overstaying its welcome. It's not appreciated because it's wasted a lot of people's time. Even Destiny fanatics feel some ways a lot of the same ways. They're, they're, unfortunately, Destiny had a lot of lows. Destiny had a lot of highs as well, such as the Lightfall. That was a genuine disaster. And now, thankfully, with the Redemption arc, such as that we've finally got from the expansion of Final Shape, keep it up there. You know what I mean? Stop it. Get some help. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting into the meme. Stop it. Get some help. So, I love the way they all saw that Final Shape introduces so many exciting and different environmental designs within the area that you get to explore within the Final Shape. I don't want to get into specifics because I don't want to get into the spoilers category, but I will mention that the environment and how diversified it is, is very much a looker. And I really like Destiny 2's overall graphics and uh, visuals because it always does so well in that front. It really makes you feel that, oh my goodness, you've been going through the down memory lane for a long time. And you get to, you have that feeling, at least for me it did. It just has a lot of interesting and varied of missions variety. 
But there is one fundamental flaw within this, that mission variety. In fact, I don't think that's just a mission variety I'm about to mention that's the problem. It's Destiny 2 overhaul is the problem. All you really truly do is shoot enemies. That dumb AI enemies that don't do much of attacking back. Unless, of course, if you play the campaign on legendary difficulty, then yeah, obviously it will be much more difficult. But nevertheless, enemies are still dumb and all they do is hit harder and you have to, well, they get more health basically. And you yet you're staying, staying the same. So here's another big problem that I'm noticing with Destiny 2 and so many other people have mentioned this already. It's not just the final shape is the problem here, but Destiny overall. It's nearly impossible for newcomers to join into this game. And honestly, I am one of those people. Remember when I said I haven't played Destiny 2 for an extremely long time and because I abandoned it for so, so long? And now when I got back into the final shape, half a time I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what does this do? What does that do? And I was lost. And I know that Bungie tried to rectify that issue and they tried to simplify things as well, which you have to do here, give them a little bit of guide, a little bit of a tutorial. It's just not good enough. And I'm pretty sure they redone that twice and yet they still cannot do it for some odd reason. I get that this is a live service game and you need to continue on playing through, but there's a better way of introducing into like for newcomers into Destiny 2 and having a better tutorial and a little bit of better guidance. Because if you have such a cumbersome tutorial and cumbersome of how you begin playing this game, nobody's gonna stick around. And I genuinely think that all the Destiny 2 players are only, well, people that commonly play the game and very much hardcore players. There are no newcomers. And that's why I feel that Destiny 2 isn't exactly doing super well. But nevertheless, it is doing, at least in performance, is doing well now due to the Final Shape expansion. I had a fantastic time with this. Light and Darkness Saga has just kind of teary in my eye, if that makes sense. I'm so glad the way I got to see the end of this game. And now just seeing and hearing that it's going to continue on with its adventures, it's kind of like giving it a very bad taste in my mouth. Kind of reminds me of a so-called Marvel movies. You know how it all, how it all goes. With the end of the end game comes after plenty of other trash movies. Well, other than Spider-Man. That was an incredible movie. And Spider-Man No Way Home. Nevertheless, guys, that's all I want to have a little bit of a chat regarding on Destiny 2. It is always nice to come back and revisit that one game that I was genuinely obsessed with. I really was addicted to Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 to some point. And just... I always wanted to find a replacement of Destiny to find a hook within me, get addiction once again. But unfortunately, I never did. And yet, till this day, I still do not have a game that I would cook, that I could call my own and that I would play it every single day, like it was for Destiny One, Destiny Two, even some case back then when I was much younger, Call of Duty. Now. I guess we moved on. I guess we grew up. At least, at least that's how I feel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments as well. What do you think about Destiny 2? The final shape. If you played it. If you're thinking of picking it up. Do you even care much about it? Alright. Like and subscribe. See you guys all later.